Cyberdogs, and welcome once again to the Lockabout Presents Let's Play Minecraft. Except this time it's something new, it is Minecraft 1.8, the Bountiful Update. This is our first look. I have just started a new creative world uh, using a, a number seed, which I will provide. Um, we'll get you the seed in just a moment here, and everything is generating. Um, and I'm pretty excited with all the new materials to build with and everything else. This could be very, very good. The clouds, I love the one, the new 1.8 clouds. That I like them so much better than the old clouds. Got to say, got to say. All right, well, here as we sink into the blackness. There we go. Oh, hey, there we go. Good start. Excuse me. Now I started creative, and uh, I will go to survival. Let's just see what we got in our box. So that's a pretty good starting box. But I wanted to be able to just... Oh wait, guys! Look what I see right there. Do you see? Do you see? Oh, I don't have Optifine. Ha ha ha! Can't zoom in. Hello, sheepies. I'm gonna get. To... Wait. What's in the box here? Stuff. Okay. Let's just run over here. Hey, we got pumpkins. Check that out. We got sheep galore. Strange floating mystical blocks, but that is indeed a village. What am I doing? I can fly. Meow. Oh, we got some lava and, and pumpkins, and we have a village, and yes, indeed, there is a blacksmith. Do, 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 do. But, just come in here, see what's in there. Oh, dude, check this out. Check it out. Iron picks, helmet. Oak saplings and bread. I mean that that is like adventure starting kit. That is perfect. This is some interesting territory around here. Yay, new villagers who actually work in the field. Look at them go. Wow. I'm just so happy it's finally here. Like ten months it's been. Let's see what we got around here. Let's just get up in the air a wee bit. Just in case there happens to be a mega tiger within 50 feet, <laughs> which I doubt. Um, I think we've got a great starting area here. We've got a little swamp over there in one of the uh, overgrown forests. What do they call them? Uh, roofed forest. Yeah, I like the new clouds a lot better. We've got some desert over here. That's cool. But I just wanted to kind of take a quick glance at what was in the area, see if we spot anything interesting. You know, I mean, the chances of there being an ocean nearby with, a, a, you know, one of the new ocean structures in it are, is pretty slim. But you never know. And I like to get just kind of at least a rough idea of what's around me. I don't feel like it's all cheating and stuff to have at least some vague idea. I mean, come on, if you were, were you know, suddenly left to survive in a world, would you be likely to find yourself in the circumstances having absolutely zero idea whatsoever of what's in the general area. I mean, whether your your hot air balloon crashes or your airplane goes down or you lose your guide on your safari, you've, you've at least got some vague notion. And so I don't feel like it's all super cheaty to just take a loop around the the immediate area and I mean only the immediate area you know I'm not going miles and miles out just seeing so we've got we've got some uh, savannah and some swamp and some desert we've got oh look the pumpkin that's very interesting um, a little bit of roofed forest and uh, this is this is a good starting spot. We got some crazy mountains going on there, some crazy extreme hills. There might even, if that's proper extreme hills, there could even be some emeralds under there. Could be a great place to mine and do some trading. But there's our pumpkins and our lava, and so many sheepies. All right, guys. Well, let's see if I can spot my chest. Let's play spot the chest. There it is. Now, before we get started here, let's go, let's see what, I think it's just forge slash seed, right? There we go. So, um, I'm not going to explain to you uh, why this number is significant to me. Um, 
but this number is significant to me. It's important to me in my life. And I thought I'd give it a try, and I'm pretty pleased with the result. We got us a little village. We've got some interesting stuff around us. I see lots of the, of the new uh, building materials easily available. That makes me very happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, take a break here real quick to take care of a couple of things here in real life and then i'm going to come back switch to survival mode we're going to pick up our stuff and we're going to go move into that village so i shall return in but a moment i'll be back all right my friends i have returned and it is time we are going to forward slash game mode zero or no game mode survival that one i know works for sure there we go we're now in survival let's pick up our torches which I'm very happy to have. A few torches and a chest. I am so happy there's a village right over there. Apples. And picks. And an iron pick. An iron pick. I just remember that. Iron pick. Got us some sticks. And some wood. And now I'm just going to very quickly... Um, get us... One of these here, guys. Let's just touch more wood here. All right. And we need us an axe. Just like so. And there we go. So now we can use that axe. Chop this. Boop. And to chop this. Now we got a chest to take with us into the village. Village! And we've also got something we can use to dispatch our uh, bedroom furniture! Ah! Mutton! I forgot about the mutton. Look, it's mutton. Car, nothing but mutton today. Mutton yesterday. Build a troll. Oh, efficient killing machine. But we will not chop you. Soon we will take your wool and you will be naked sheep. Yes, trust me, your friends will like it. Alright, let's go over here. And we're gonna grab these pumpkins. Chop. Ooh. And chop. And we're good there. Let's not jump in the lava. I said let's not jump in the lava. <laughs> I'm, the reason I wanted to get white sheep, I want to leave the colored sheep, because white sheep, easy to get. Colored sheep, not so easy. Uh, let's see here. So I think this house shall be the beginning. And I mean, I'll be moving the cobblestone tools in just a matter of moments here, so I'm not so worried about using my axe to do that. Looks like they've had a little bit of trouble here. They're missing a door or two. Looks like all of the houses can be gotten into. Put this over here. Epically awesome. Iron pick. Our mining just got a whole lot easier. Get this guy on our head. And edible food right there. We got trees we can plant. I am such a happy little camper at this moment. I'm going to take this guy too. I'm just moving and helping myself to everything that belongs to these people, but once they learn what kind of protection I can afford them, hopefully they will forgive me and welcome me into their community with open arms. I noticed that all of them seem to be female. Is this an Amazon village again? There seems to be a lot of Amazon villages in 17 and 18. Yes, this does. Oh, cool. We got a couple cows over here. Lovely. That's just a short distance to lead them back and start propagating them. And there's coal easily available. We got a good starting spot, guys, here. Wow. Like I say, for per it's personal, and, and I'm not going to explain the reasons, but the number I used is significant to me, and it's given us just, just really a dandy start. Well, let's get um, let's get ourselves installed over here, and then let's collect us some cobblestone so we can upgrade our tools. First, we're going to come here, and let's place our crafting table right like so. And toss those guys there. And these guys here, and there is our bed. Hooray. Um, so we'll just 
place you. We'll be very traditional right there. Place the chest right there. In the chest, we're just going to dump off anything that's not super important right at this second. Um, carry this guy with us. We got a little bread. I want to get these uh, saplings in the ground uh, right away because I noticed there doesn't appear to be hardly anything in the way of trees around the immediate area here. So looks like a good spot over here to do it. So we'll get these in. And from them, we should eventually be able to get a lovely grove going here. I, I, if those qualify as any sort of extreme hills underneath them, there will be emeralds. Yes, emeralds. You like emeralds. Oh, come on, baby. Don't you like an emerald? Come on, talk to me, baby. All right. So, yeah, I appear to be in the village of the Amazons. I'm not going to take any of their food right now. I'm doing fine on that. But let's see. So... We got a little tiny bit of wood. Let's find a spot. Let's let's go. Um, let's see about grabbing some coal and some cobblestone. That is a good idea. Coal and cobblestone. Oh, and some of that crazy red cobblestone is over there too. See any coal any, anywhere close by here? I see that there's some across over there. It'd be nice if we didn't have to go that far to grab it. Just get enough to. Get a few more torches going because we got to torch up our place, but we also want to torch up the village. Some there, some there. All right. Sploosh. Hoppity hoppity. I'm going to be all about getting some more of these uh, interesting new stones that we've got. Like, oh wow, yeah, like that stuff right there, man. I love this stuff. All right, but I need to, to get some cobble so that we can get our our own furnace going. I could raid the uh, blacksmith for a furnace, but I, I don't know. I don't feel like that's the right thing to do, taking people's things. I commandeered the house because obviously it's empty. Nobody was using it, right? That makes sense to me. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I can't wait for the server reset. <laughs> Me and uh, Hawkeye, we are going to have some serious adventures. We just hit a great patch of coal. That makes me so happy. Though I do notice I don't have any game sound going on. It just struck me, that fact. I wonder why that is. I'm going to have to look into that. I just had to uh, adjust my sound settings, and I must have kicked something on or kicked something off. But I guess better to, you know, at, hopefully it's recording my voice. If it isn't, I'm going to sure feel dumb when this is over. But all right, so we just got 35 coal by just fiddling around there for a minute. And that's good enough for me. We got 11 cobble, which is enough to uh, make sure we're, well, we need more cobble than that, though. Here, let's grab it from over here. Because we need it for tools and we need it for the stove. And you never know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll bump into some iron, you know. I mean, having this iron pickaxe to start, I probably shouldn't be using it up like this, but I'm just so happy to have it. Alright, that's better. Yeah, now we got like 40 of them. All right, we need to get we need to get back to the village. The sun is about to go down. All right, villagers, you are about to learn why it is that it's good to have me around. Check this out. Oh, I got to make a sword too. Check this out. Here you are, ready to spend another night cowering in the dark. But instead, Daylight. See? It could be good to have me around. What do you got, anyway? What you got? Wool for emeralds? Oh, heck, yeah. And coal for emeralds? Girls, you can stay in my place. Um, I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Oh, creeper. And me with no sword. Let's get back in here and make some gear. <laughs> nice, nice creeper dose of reality there. I wonder, you know, um, so I tried to record this earlier... 
and I ended up not getting my voice, and so I changed the settings so that I'd get my voice, and now I think I've somehow switched it so that I'm not getting the, the game sound. In fact, if you guys will bear with me for just one second here, I am just going to pop open Bandicam and see if I can't do something about this. That does not appear to have helped. Oh well, I'll look into it later. As long as we're as long as we're uh, getting my commentary and we're continuing to play, I guess I guess we'll be all right. But anyway, <coughs> pardon me. Let's get to work over here. So we need to make ourselves a furnace, like so. And then we're also going to see about upgrading our tools. But obviously, we need some wood for that. Um, and we don't have a lot of wood on hand, so let's just let dump this extra stuff out here. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to grab our, our mutton. Our mouton. And we are going to put our mouton in here and cook a fight. Cook a fight meat and mouton. Meat. Meat is good. But we'll eat bread for now. So when I'm good and hungry later on, we'll have some mouton. But now we need to go out and see if any of our trees have sprouted and if not take us a little walk to get some more wood and no tree sproutification yet where's the sun Ooh, we ain't gonna have much time we better move 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 Ooh, there's an easy bunch of coal to get when we get the chance because we just zip over here and grab mr. spruce Yeah, I can say the right now I am averaging about I'm 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 bouncing around between 78 and 130 FPS most of the time. Every once in a while I drop down into the high 20s. But I gotta say I'm quite very pleased with the performance change in Minecraft for 1.8 because uh, there are so many people who haven't been able to to do let's plays because. The machines just couldn't handle Minecraft and the, the recording software at the same time. And uh, this is going to make a great difference for them. Gonna make a great difference for them. Alright, there we go. Got us a bit of wood. We can come back and check in a little bit. See if we've got us any uh, apples. And in the meantime, let's see if there's any spruce saplings over here. Might as well grab some and plant a couple of spruce over there if there's any saplings. But I don't see any. Pardon me. Do you have any saplings? Saplings? Saplings are our friends. We need saplings. Hello. You're not being very forthcoming. Aha, there we go. We got, got one, I believe. Yep. Cool. As long as we can just get... If we can get two of them, we're solid. But, I mean, it's so close by. There we go. So we can now... We can now... Uh, expand our tree farming experience. Yeah, and one of those guys popped up. That's awesome. That's uh, just... For the moment, just pop them down over here. Nothing fancy. Just a little more wood available. We're just about through our axe here in terms of durability. So we'll break these leaves. There we go. Something else. And get our last couple of pieces of wood here, we hope. Upgrade to an iron axe. And just so that it doesn't interfere with my ability to see. Well, hello there. Would you like a sapling? No? You're not into saplings? Alright, that's cool, man. Not everybody's into saplings. I know, when I was your age, I wasn't into saplings either. But later on, as I came to understand how useful they are, out of here might as well see if we can manage to get one more sapling in hand and oh there he is and plant it over here and we are doing good getting our wood production up and eventually it'll become part of our landscaping instead of just uh, part of our wood production but these guys here these azure bluets yes 
So these are good for gray dye. That's good. And we've got some yellow flowers there. Got oh yep, there's some red ones up over there. So we're good for dyes. Um, we're good for sheep. Looks like we got a little bit of clay over here even. Where is that sand? Is that sand? That was sand. Yeah, we need to make a shovel. But I think this is actually clay over here. So we've got a little bit of clay around. That's good. You know, the one thing I, I don't see is I don't see uh, sugar cane. But we can take us a journey, oh, um, oh, you know, in a general area and see if we if we spot some. We don't. We only need one, you know. So we'll take a look for that. I think then what I'm going to do, guys, we we'll probably hit about my 20 minutes. But so my plan is going to be I'm going to see about taking some of this wheat and gathering up some of these cows and getting them penned in and some of the sheep. Um, I don't see any chickens currently, but uh, I'm just going to do like some lighting up, dig some coal, uh, chop some wood, get this area all lit up and safe for my new friends here. Um, Maybe just take a shovel and, and go over and, and dig out some dirt and stuff and, and maybe get a low wall going around it or something or maybe chop a bunch of wood and do fence. But anyway, I'm going to work on that kind of stuff because it's the classic chop wood, carry water kind of stuff. But once I've got this place more or less fortified and ready to rock and roll, then I think we're going to have to find an entrance into the ground and go looking for some resources. I do believe, I do believe, and I got to sort out the sound problem, which is another reason why I want to want to bring it to an end now. But thank you for joining me, Delacabop, for Delacabop presents Let's Play Minecraft 1.8, a first look at the Bountiful Update. This has been a lot of fun, just wandering around and seeing what's going on. We got us an epic spawn. Remember that uh, that, that spawn seed is 1-1-4-8-4-7, 1 1 4 8 4 7 11 48 47 and you will get this awesome little spot here so all right guys that way you can play along with me if you like but i'm going to continue to let's play some solo just for a while just to kind of help familiarize myself with uh the new stuff going on in in, in 1.8 and in the meantime i'm going to get some stuff down around here and i shall return i'm out peace but not before we have a squatch craft high five with pleasure blew it in your face